Hi and welcome to this short video where we're going to take a look at uh, some of the alternative ways of entering MIDI information. So mostly workflow uh, improvers to help you work a little quicker. Uh, a quick tip which a uh, few people don't know is double clicking between the locators on a track will create an empty part which is how we're going to get where we're going to go and just going to open this up in the main editor uh, rather than the one in the lower zone. So you will already know that if you use the pencil tool, you can click and create notes. Uh, you probably also know that if you click and drag, you create a note which uh, snaps to multiples of that original length. But you can look at a few other ways of uh, modifying those notes, etc., and creating them. So first one is, if you want to cut this up into multiple notes, you can obviously do it manually, but it can be a little long-winded, particularly if you are dealing with small lengths. So if we set this to 16 that would be quite long-winded. Um, however, if you hold down the Alt key and click, he instantly gets cut up into the same size segment. So whatever the first cut was you made, the rest of it gets divided up uh, as appropriate. So here, if we do it quarters, that happens, etc. Uh, another slight time saver is if you hold down the control key while you're resizing then snap gets defeated temporarily so here we can make those whichever length we want or if we wanted to uh, have an interesting uh, timing we can do that etc i'm going to pop those back there okay changing pitch you know you can drag it up and down with the uh, mouse Often I find using the keyboard, so the up and down cursor keys are more useful. Because, uh, don't change the timing, etc. But also, if you hold down shift and up, shift and down, you can move an octave at a time, which is a lot more accurate. That, particularly with a piece where uh, it's maybe more complicated than this and a little more difficult to see. You can also find if you have the pencil tool effectively activated by holding down the out key and you're hovering over the end of it it will repeat it for you so if you've got something you already want and you want to repeat that so you can repeat uh, using those and final quick tip is using the line tool now often if you want to create uh, drum parts etc using the line tool can be pretty pretty quick as well if you keep it on the same note it will make uh, notes which are set to whatever your uh, snap setting currently is. So there were 16th notes, this would have been quarter notes, etc. So creating bass drums, snares, hi hats, etc. Anything where there's repetition, it's really quick and easy to do that with the line tool, just keeping the pitch the same. If you've enjoyed these videos and found them useful, then subscribe by clicking on the MT2 logo in the bottom of the screen now. Also visit musictechtuition.com for tips, tricks and advice, as well as information about the books I've written, The Complete Guide to Music Technology Using Cubase 9, and Music Tech A-Level Using Cubase 9. These are a great resource, whether you're just getting started or you've been working for a few years now. The information in them will allow you to take your sequencing, recording and production to the next level and give you a well-rounded grounding in all areas of music technology.